Hello everyone and in today's video tutorial we're going to talk about how to operate in the stick figure builder window. This video is targeted to audiences who just downloaded Pivot, the program itself. So if you already know everything about stick figure building and operating in stick figure builder, then you know just leave the video. I don't need your toxicity where you write down a comment where you already know everything because obviously you already know everything about it. Lastly, if you feel like I am insulting your intelligence in this video, uh, feel free to leave a dislike. I know that I probably said things here that is quite self-explanatory and easy to understand. And also, if you like this kind of video where I explain stuff while recording, then make sure to leave a like or comment about it. And that's pretty much it, so we can go on in the video. Thanks for doing those kind of stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. A little bit of review from the first re-upload tutorial which me talking about the nodes and all that stuff. The red one lets you rotate a segment and the orange one lets you move the stick figure like so. So you notice that if I rotate this, it usually rotates from where the segment is connected to. Right now to make this simpler, to explain and understand, it usually rotates from the origin like so. Like that. So it usually rotates that way. So if we go ahead and edit this stick figure, we'll be able to edit this like so. Hold Alt Shift in your keyboard and resize the stick figure. Usually that's what I do. I don't know if other people do it. I resize it so that I can go and zoom in. It works as a zoom in. Just to keep that in mind when you're working on something. Um, and then you can resize it back to smaller size whatever you want now as you may notice if ever i click different segments on this stick figure this the thickness and the length the information about that segment changes right here down here so this text down here uh, shows the information about the segment that you just clicked so right now it's a circle and if i click this it's a line and all that stuff so uh, that's clear uh, next is the tools. So there are two kind of tools that is separated from the rest, which is the line tool and the add circle tool. So adding lines right here, as you can see, it just adds line. And also, as you may have noticed, there's a shortcut key, which is L uh, in the parentheses. So you can just keep pressing L and then keep adding segments. Now, if you kept your eye on this counter here, it says there's 19 segments. So if ever I keep uh, making segments like so and I hit a limit it will say this you cannot add any more uh, figure segments so the limit is 255 so just to be clear I did make this you can complain about this limitation to Peter Bone the, the developer himself not me so I don't know why people like to complain and compare it to stick nodes and push it into my face even though I, I didn't ask for it. Uh, anyways, it's not about the tools, it's about what you can do with it. Next is the add circle, so you usually just add circles like so. And then the rest of these tools down here is usually the tools that lets you edit the segment that you just selected. So here it changes it to circle and line. It's pretty simple. Now this one, it only affects two circles. So if I click this to make it a circle, you can see that it's white. It's not showing the leg behind it. And if I press this, it's, it fills it. So it's like black all the way, so like so. And if I click it again, it's clear. Uh, I just want to make things uh, clearer right here. The segments that you selected turns into blue. So if I click this, this will select that. And if I click this, this will select that. Sometimes people think that if I, you click this, it will select this. Actually, no, because this is connected to the origin, this line here. And you have to click this so that you can select this segment. Um, next is the duplicate. So you can duplicate stick figures. I mean, not stick figures, segment. I keep saying stick figures for some odd reason. Um, so by pressing D, you can duplicate them, the selected segment. And next is the thickness. You can change the thickness. Uh, it also works in up and down arrow keys in your keyboard. We will go to this later. Next is the split segment. You can split a segment and add another segment. And be careful with splitting segments because and you have to economize segments 
very well. Next is deleting segments, which you could just you know, see deletes the selected segment. Next is learning the shift branches. So as I explained, when you click something, it usually comes from the origin and you rotate it. So it affects the rest of the things that is connected to this node that you're clicking right now. So if I hold shift and D, it duplicates all of them like so. So that affects all of them. And if I hold control D, it flips it and same goes with control shift D like so. Um, it also works with a split segment. So shift insert it splits all of them and then shift delete also deletes all of them. Next thing to learn about making stick figure is the edit mode. Edit mode usually does this. So if you see to turn on the edit mode, you have to go here, edit and edit mode. And if you click a node, it will stretch two segments or all of the segment that is connected to that node that you just clicked. So edit, edit mode, it looks like this. It works like that because if you just want to tweak a little bit, like let's say the spike of the hair and all that stuff, you can also use control. You hold control and then stretch just one segment. So there's difference between stretching one segment and stretching uh, all of the segments that is connected to here. So if it is a comparison, if I hold control like so, it only stretches the segment that I'm selecting. And if I have edit mode, it goes like this. Edit mode can be toggled with Control E. So as you can see, I didn't keep pressing there. So static is the gray one. As you can see, there's the gray head. And compared to here in the animator, um, you can't see the red node. Like so if I move this around, you can move it in the stick figure builder. But in the animation and an pivot animator, you won't be able to click here and move the head like so. so Let's just create new stick figure and have this one and add it and then make a new one and have it static because you know static you can press S and also it works the same way. Uh, let me just add this first the same way with the um, stick figure. So if I shift S, it changes all of this into static. Now if I add this, it makes it static like so. So right now, you saw me load or add these two stick figures in the animation. If I move this, I'll be able to move this one. If I click the red node, this one doesn't have a red node, so I won't be able to move it at all, except if I use Alt-Z to rotate it and resize it, or Alt-Z control, sorry, to just rotate it, and Alt control to rotate to them. So Alt-Z control rotates them both in their own origin and the alt control rotates all of the stick figures with a designated center so as you can tell what static does is this it does that next is the <laughs> the origin so if ever you have a stick figure and you've been moving stuff around like so let's just say it's going to be like this and you won't be able to click the origin anymore because all the nodes are there and you want to edit the origin and all that stuff. Um, so let me just add this in the pile. You can still click it because it's not static, but if you're editing it and the origin is like being covered with all that stuff, you can move the origin just by adding a stick figure that is far away, making it zero, the thickness, and then changing it to origin. So you have the origin here. As you can see, it's called orange and just add it. Now the origin is here so you can move origin basically i think that's all of it for now i will be talking about joining stick figures later uh not later later but more on the later tutorials if ever we get to continue on that and after that i will talk about 3d uh not 3d but 360 uh full body building stick figure all right so that's all i hope this helps a lot I, so thanks for watching and i hope this helps a little bit maybe i don't know so